Hey, what's up? It's Mike with Attitude Dubs, and uh, today I'm going to be giving you guys an overlook at a Beretta 92FS uh, Inox or stainless steel or two tone. Uh, start with this is Beretta lock, comes with two keys. Uh, pretty good lock. Uh, this blue sheath here, though, I actually had to cut off a little bit. This comes a little bit longer, and it's kind of a bitch to use a lock when it's got the extra stuff on there. So if you have one of these and you have trouble with it, cut off some of the blue stuff, and it'll make it easier for you. <laughs> So a uh, quick overview of the case, it has a very contemporary design, lots of curves, you got your uh, logos uh, there, that's a logo and this says made in the USA which is awesome. Uh, the plastic on the seams right here where it opens and on the locks, does get worn pretty easily, but uh, for what it does the case is alright. So upon opening the case, uh, you're greeted by the gun which when you get it new, comes in a, in a plastic, it has a little bit of oil on it. Uh, this thing, I have no clue what the hell that is, no right here. One magazine, and then you got a second magazine in the gun. Ah, there it goes. So yeah, comes with two magazines. I believe these are aluminum. Uh, I'm not certain, but they're good mags. They feed every single time. They're just, they're really good quality. I like them. Uh, moving on to the gun. We've got the inox finish. This seems to be a darker finish than what I've seen for on other stainless steel models on uh, YouTube. However, uh, I, I don't care. I like the I like this sort of darker gray. I mean, it could just be the light. I mean, I guess when you hold it up, it gets a little bit brighter in the camera. But in reality, it's it's a, it's a relatively dark finish or like a mid gray finish. If you've ever seen one or held one, it's a very nice. I like it. It's not too bright, not too dark, just right, just for me, anyways. Uh, it has black and uh, silver, again, two-tone sort of scheme to it. Uh, mag release, trigger. Uh, it has a double action and a single action trigger, for those who didn't know. Slide catch. And then you have your takedown button right there. You basically flip that lever and the weapon would disassemble. It has an ambidextrous safety, so it's alright for... Uh, yeah, it's alright for uh, left-handed shooters, I guess. Just don't want to get brass in the face. It has uh, red-colored apertures. It has a very nice sight picture, shoots relatively straight out of the box. I mean, this has had maybe like 200 rounds, 250 rounds. Uh, the weapon's already safety checked, so I'm not going to waste time doing that, plus I only have one hand. But, uh, here's a double action trigger. It's definitely one hell of a pull, uh, but it's very crisp, even though it is kind of heavy. Just cock the weapon back. Single action trigger, very crisp, very light, very nice. I love the trigger on this weapon, especially when it's cocked back. Very light, and you can just, honestly, if you've ever watched the movie Die Hard, you see him, you see John McClane or uh, Bruce Willis constantly hammering out rounds with his 92. That is doable, and it feels very nice. I mean, honestly, when I was breaking it in, you know, you, you kind of shoot off rounds for fun, because you can, you know, you don't have to be accurate when you're breaking in a weapon. But, uh, yeah, I, I love it. Uh, the trigger's very nice. Uh, on, on some guns, most guns, actually, a lot of people don't buy them because of the triggers, but personally, I like it. Uh, the safety though might be kind of impeding if you're uh, one for concealed carry and the weapon is pretty heavy for concealed carry however it does have a full metal frame and uh, solely because of that I like it. It's more utilitarian, kind of reminiscent of a 1911 you know. Uh, most modern weapons have a polymer lower which is alright, saves weight, but personally I like full metal frames but that's just me. Um, weapon doesn't have too bad of a recoil and again it's only a 9mm so it's not that bad. A very high quality gun for the price. Uh, you can get these used, the same model, for maybe like five, six hundred dollars off of Gun Broker. And those have only had a couple thousand rounds through them. Uh, brand new, this weapon runs about eight hundred dollars, which is kind of steep, and you could probably get like a Sig Sauer 1911 for that price if you if you look hard enough. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this one personally, I, I love it. Uh, I love shooting it, love holding it. <laughs> it feels very nice in my hand. I don't have the biggest hands, as you can see, my fingers don't wrap around too well. But personally, I like it. It feels nice to me. And, uh, you know, it's not bad. I mean, I kind of got to shift it around to use the controls. But personally, I like it and have no issues with it. And it just it feels very nice in my hand. Glocks, for me, feel like I'm holding a brick. Although I had smaller hands back then. I mean, my hands are still relatively small, but they were smaller when I last time I shot a Glock. So I might have to do some more trigger time just so I can get a better opinion on that. But for now, Breda 92, very good. Uh, reliability is very nice. I haven't torch tested it. I don't plan to. But uh, water seems to be the, the 92's weak point, and uh, it will stovepipe a lot and won't feed reliably, but it will still fire. Uh, dirt, dust, no problem. Especially these locking blocks tend to be a point of concern for reliability, but even with dust and everything, it fires just fine. You got some markings on there, it looks like a, it's a stainless, yeah, there you go. Stainless finished, 
Got your regular markings on there, Beretta USA, etc., etc. And then the other side, it has the model designation, model 92FS Cal, 9mm, whatever, whatever, whatever. But yeah, very nice gun. I like it. The grips are nice. Uh, it's kind of like a hoe grip, more of a sticky rubber grip. It feels very good in the hand. Again, the, the way the back hand shapes and it has the serrations on the slide, or not, not slide, but uh, on the frame, rather. It just it feels very, very, very nice. Uh, very easy gun to shoot. A lot of, again, not a lot of recoil, easy trigger. It's just a great overall gun. A uh, little bit heavier, but personally, I like the weight. I like to know that I have a solid pistol. There's almost no play. No, there is no play at all. Like this, this gun is just very solid. Uh, with a 1911 of this quality, uh, that would shoot as reliably and everything. Even though it does have the 45 caliber, uh, for a 1911 that has the reliability of a Beretta 92, you're looking at spending upwards of $1,500, closer to $2,500 for a very nice model. Uh, Glocks aren't bad, but again, I just I don't like the feel of them, and I like a full metal frame, and that's just me. But, uh, yeah. You'd be hard-pressed to find 1911s with this kind of quality. I haven't shot the SIG 1911s, although I have heard they're pretty good for the most part, but if I'm going to buy a gun, I want it to be drop-dead reliable like this, a Glock, or for higher-end 1911s. So, very good gun for the price. Uh, unfortunately, I might end up having to see it go, because this is not this is not my gun, unfortunately. It's my dad's. And uh, he's probably going to try and get rid of it, you know, in order to uh, put the money elsewhere. But he did say he would sell it to me for 500 if I can get the money together. So if uh, you guys like this pistol as much as I do, please subscribe, comment, rate, and share. That way I can get the money <laughs> put up and uh, hopefully uh, get to keep this gun. Because I, I really like it. It feels very nice and I'd be honored to be able to keep it. Because, I mean, just it's, it's a very nice weapon and, you know, it's just it's something that I like. It's sort of like the first family pistol. So... But yeah, uh, we also have an AR-15 in the in the container. I'll probably pull out and uh, show you guys at some point if I can't get the content up soon enough. But uh, personally, I'd rather have an AK-74 than an AR-15. That's just me, because the AR-15 is kind of that seems kind of fidgety, and I want something that I can just beat the crap out of. And I mean, I take care of my guns at the end of the day, but you know, just, I'm I'm a fan of the AK. But that's a that's a tangent. I'm gonna go off and we'll save that for another day. But thanks for watching. This is Greta uh, bleh, Greta 92 FS stainless slash inox slash uh, two tone. Uh, thanks for watching again. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, I'm glad I could bring this weapon to y'all today. And uh, y'all take care. All right, bye.